It's a Monday morning and you're checking flight prices for a weekend getaway. The fare seems reasonable. You decide to sleep on it. The next day, you check again. And boom, the price has jumped. What just happened? Welcome to the mysterious world of airline ticket pricing, where algorithms silently make thousands of decisions every second, often leaving travelers scratching their heads. The truth is, pricing a flight ticket isn't random. It's a highly strategic game of supply, demand, psychology, and data science. Behind every ticket price is an algorithm that doesn't just look at the cost of fuel or the distance flown. It analyzes hundreds of variables, including booking time, seat availability, past purchasing behavior, and even your browsing habits. Yes, airlines may even consider whether you're searching from a mobile device, a MacBook, or through incognito mode. These data points help the algorithm predict what you're willing to pay and adjust the price accordingly in real time. Airlines use a strategy called dynamic pricing. This means the cost of a tick it is not fixed but can fluctuate several times a day. Let's say a flight has 180 seats. Instead of selling them all at one price, the airline divides them into fare buckets. Early bookers get cheaper fares in lower buckets, but as demand rises or time runs out, the system moves to more expensive buckets. Even if the plane isn't full, the algorithm might raise the price just because the date is getting closer or the route is suddenly trending. Then there's the role of historical data. Airlines know, for example, that flights from New York to Miami spike during spring break or that people traveling for business tend to book midweek flights at the last minute. Algorithms digest this kind of info to anticipate behavior. So if you're looking at a popular route during a holiday season, the system might automatically assume you'll book anyway and raise the price preemptively. But that's not all. Airlines also engage in what's called yield management. This is where they balance the goal of filling as many seats as possible without underselling them. A plane taking off with empty seats is a financial loss, but a plane filled with passengers who all paid rock, bottom prices isn't great either. So the algorithm tries to find the sweet spot, maximizing profit while keeping the plane relatively full. It's a delicate dance and often, it's the algorithm that leads. Competition plays a huge role too. If a rival airline suddenly drops prices on a particular route, the algorithm might react instantly, slashing fares on competing flights to stay relevant. In some cases, if there's no competition on a route, you might find prices sky high simply because they can be. Airlines know when they have a monopoly and their algorithms aren't afraid to capitalize on it. Another twist, airlines sometimes use psychological pricing. Ever seen a ticket for $1.199 instead of $200? Or noticed that there are only two seats left at this price? These aren't coincidences. They're designed to trigger urgency and emotional decision making. The algorithm studies how people react to different pricing strategies and tailors the presentation of prices to make you click book faster. And yes, cookies and tracking tools can affect what you see. While airlines deny charging more based on personal data, the truth is murky. The algorithm may remember your search history and interpret repeated searches as intent to buy, nudging prices upward as a way to push you toward a decision. Whether it's coincidence or strategy, many travelers have felt the sting of prices changing after revisiting a flight. At the heart of it all, pricing a plane tick, it is like playing chess against thousands of invisible opponents, other passengers, airline analysts, and an ever-learning algorithm. It's not about fairness, it's about business. So next time you see a price go up or down, remember, it's not personal. It's just the algorithm doing its job optimizing profit, one ticket at a time.